Okay, one of the funnest things to do in OTP is to uh, make trades. So I'm going to take a look at uh, making some trades and how you're going to go about doing that. All right, so first things first, I'm going to show you how it would be done when you're in a non-online league. This is a test league that I've got going, and um, I want to make a trade, and I've just got, I'm controlling the Atlanta Braves here, and uh, lots of different ways to do it, but I, for whatever reason, I'm gonna, I want Robin Yount. So I'm going to go ahead and put Robin Yount there. I can get to it any number of ways. Um, you know, he's on Cleveland. I can see it here in the thing i can go and i can see tony Gwynn. i can trade for player i can i can do it almost any way that i can get to player i can right click and try to find a player but uh we decided robin yount and where do we say he was he's on cleveland right there he is robin yount so let's trade try to trade for Ramen Yount. All right, so Ramen Yount, let's look at him. He's 19 million, one year left, and he's 70-70. All right, so if I sit here and I just try to give them some scrub for them, they're going to go, yeah, must be a joke. I don't think so, right? So um, we got to try to do something that's semi-realistic. Um, so I'm going to sort by my thing, and I got, well, I've got Jacob deGrom here. It's a 68 he makes 39 million. Uh, they do have the budget space just barely to take that, but that's going to be close. Um, let me let's see if we can do something for pool holes. He's 17 million to 19 million. I'm going to go ahead and, and do that. All right. So he doesn't like he doesn't like the uh, the trade offer, but at least um, we're in the same ballpark for money now. In this particular example, both these teams are in pretty good budget space. Um, so, but we'll look at an example later when teams are not as close to matched on budget. So one of the things I can do is I can try to add a couple guys to this and all right, so he still thinks in his, all right, so I'm going to press this, make this work now. Now, not force this trade, and force this trade is only when it's in commissioner mode anyway. Um, but make this work now is going to be like, all right, I'm going to give you Pools and Gibson for Yount. What do you think? And he's going to take a look, and he's going to say, okay, if you add Stud Bunt, whatever this guy's name is, then I'd agree to it. But he's the only guy in your entire thing that I would agree to. And you're like, all right, eh, I really don't want to trade stud bun. He's a stud. So what if I add Aaron Ward and then make this work now? He goes, nope, with that, I won't even add the stud bun. Now it might also be the finance doesn't work at that point because it almost has to be something that it works thing. So, uh, all right, what do you think about Dave Steeb? And I'd have to think about it. All right, that one you could submit and then wait several days and think about it. But in this case, no, I'm going to look. All right, so now he goes, all right, you're going to put Steve in there. I'll take any of these. Now, he's still asking for the guy he really wants. But you're going, well, I don't really want to get rid of him, but I'm willing to give up Diaz. You add there. All right, he agrees. We agree. Boom, we've made a trade. All right, awesome. All right, so that's how we did it in that case. Now let's take a look and let's try to find a team here whose finances are a little more strapped because that will make trading a little bit harder. Um, there's a weird, in order to get finance of the entire league, you go to team stats and then there's finances. All right, budget room. So Detroit, Detroit's a little budget strapped and so is California. So let's try to make a trade between California and Detroit. So we'll be Detroit and we'll go and we'll take a look at what California angels have to offer. Where are they at? All right, look on the angel and I want Tommy, my homie. All right, so I'm going to go after Tommy in the trade for player. All right, so I'm looking at Tommy. Let's take a look at what he is. All right, so he's 54-54. Uh, 54, 54. He's 17.4 million, one years left, all right? So they've only got 421,000 in budget space, and they're negative cash. I've got 1.1 million, but I'm also negative cash. So neither one of us can add cash to make this trade work. So I'm going to have to find somebody that closely matches to this 17.4. So I'm going to sort mine and, I, you know, for whatever reason, I'm willing to give up Mike Schmidt. 
Now, the Schmidt for Tomy numbers don't work. Detroit can't afford. They'd be over, or the, yeah, so they drop by 1.4. So if I had cash, I could put cash in there to make that work, but it won't. All right, so my other option is to make them retain some of the salary. It can also be a combination of retaining and cash. So in this case, let's see, 15%, no. Oh, that's actually too much. 1.7, there you go. So now at least the money adds up. So because there's, bo since both their general manager and my general, my assistant general manager have something to say about it, it means the, the money matches up and so it will work. They don't like the trade, which is odd because he's one year to go and Schmidt's got five years and they, maybe they don't want to take on that much salary. But at least now I've got the money matched off. So at this point, I could offer him more things. I can go back to the make it work now. He wants this guy, which, you know, he's he's a prospect, so that, that makes sense a little bit. Or I can continue to add people and then hope. Now, in doing that, that threw that number off a little bit, so I had to ma I'll have to match this up again. Whenever you have teams like this doing it in these type cap space numbers, it's always going to be way harder to do that. Uh, let's go back to the finance here and take a look at some teams and try to find people that are not quite as cash strapped. All right. Um, so we'll do uh, Detroit and Cleveland. So I'll take control of Cleveland here. And we'll go and we'll take a look at Detroit and we'll go the other way. We'll try to get Mike Schmidt. All right. Trade for player. All right, so now they're still a little cash strapped. Not only do the Indians have nine million in space, they've got forty-six million in cash, so they can do a lot more to go here with Schmidt. In fact, they might be able to help out, and they may be even willing to dump him a little bit because they want to get rid of that that money. All right, so let's we're gonna go way down here, and we're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna give you this guy who's not even that good. And Cleveland cannot afford. Oh, that's so much off that it's thing. All right, so they have nine million in space, and what did we say? Schmidt is fifteen. So we've got to have a guy that's at least five million. Because even though we have all this cash, we're still stuck by this salary limit. The cash can be added to the trade, but it can't make anything. All right, so we'll add uh, Steve Howe to that. All right. So now the number is quite there, but it's not, they don't consider it. They think it's not an insult. They think it, eh, maybe it'll work. All right. So we're going to go and we're going to put Frank Schneider in there. Now it's not even close to working. So we know how to do the retain. So we'll do a little bit of the retain, but now they're 14 million off. Well, we've got 46 million in cash here. So we'll go, hey, no problem. We'll throw in 15 million. And see if that happens. Now, he doesn't particularly like the trade. He doesn't want to probably take on this contract, which makes sense. This guy's a lot of years, a lot of money for that kind of thing. But that's how you can kind of make that money work. And we can always go to this, make this work. He says that. So that's that's quite a complicated trade there. A lot of money moving back and forth and some capture thing. But that's the way that you kind of make those. All of that is how you trade in an offline league, but you need to know that in order to know how to do an online league. So this is part one. Part two will be online league trading.